Next, Turkey. What are the Jamaat rules if a girl has accepted Ahmadiyya through an Ahmadi boy and they want to get married? How long does the girl have to wait as an Ahmadi before she could be allowed to marry him? In the other way around, isn't it? The question was, if an Ahmadi girl wants to marry a new convert from among the non Ahmadi boys, is that right? No? Girl is new Ahmadi. He, he, he is converted by, bo by a boy, Ahmadi boy. Convert a new Ahmadi? Yes. Boy. Girl, girl is a new Ahmadi. Girl is a new Ahmadi? Yes. Who is converted by, by a boy? Yes. yes. Didn't and he find any other boy to preach to? <laughs> <laughs> this, this question it's from amazing. Me. <laughs> All his life, he just discovered one little one girl <laughs> to whom he should preach. He can marry, of course, legally. And uh, we cannot, we have no ways and means to stop him. He will not be punished anyway. But it may be against his own interest to marry such a girl. Because when he preaches her, evidently his intention is distorted. Evidently he must have fallen in love with her before he thought of preaching to her. And when this becomes the intention, <laughs> then the whole purpose of marriage is lost. So he will be answerable to God for that. But as far as the world is concerned, we can, I can only say that if a girl accepts Ahmadiyyat for the sake of marrying an Ahmadi boy, what sort of Ahmadi she would be? What sort of uh, upbringing she will give to her children? Will they really find Jannah from under her feet? Or it will be a different story? Will it not be too late after marriage when the boy after marriage begins to consider when the first, uh, you know, happiness of early marriage is over then the realities raise their heads. Then they look at each other like ordinary, normal male and female. Then their bad points also begin to surface. And then it is possible, it's not, it doesn't happen always, but it is possible that uh, the wife who became apparently an Emily she decides to raise her children in a different way. Then there will be a growing clash between the two. If they get separated, who would take care of the children? So many problems emerge from this ill-advised marriage, which is based not on the advice of Rasulullah but uh, on the compulsion of one's own ego and love. Hazrat Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has advised, <coughs> whenever you decide to marry, marry someone who is pious, who is good. And if some person is good, then he will always remain good. Then in the beginning, that person may not be beautiful, may not be comely, but with the passage of time they begin to grow a sort of love for each other which uh, never wanes out. It continues to grow. So this is the advice of Rasulullah and this is the result of that advice. So which one would, would he like to follow? That's the answer.